Okay, well, the, the tier, the, the story about, okay, well, tier segmentation in China, uh, it, it will depend a lot upon s uh, which sectors that you're in. Uh, but it's first tier cities, Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, uh, has, you know, uh, mature economies and, 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 and were Western style economies. Uh, the second tier cities, though, that's where all the growth is happening. And that, those are all the, the cities that are several million inhabitant cities that are not necessarily known, well known, or almost not, uh, not known at all outside of China. Uh, cities like, like Chengdu, Wuhan, Xi'an, uh, Harbin, uh, you know, even Shenzhen. Uh, these cities then uh, offers a lot of potential. Um, some of the reasons they offer potential is that, well, the government then has invested into Shanghai, Beijing, and Guangzhou already. Those things are in place. For us selling equipment, the equipment sales will, will, will be, uh, the volume of the equipment sales will be primarily in the second, third, fourth tier cities, you know, cities going downwards. Uh, and we did make a target list of cities uh, for, 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 for China. And I was surprised that after we ranked 100 cities by, by GDP, that we actually only had one city that has less than 1 million inhabitants on that list. And then we look in, our, at, at, in, in, in our segment, we're looking at and, and, and trying to make the, the argument to Europe that, okay, well, look, we have to uh, put ourselves into these cities. This is where the growth is going to be. And we have to be there by, with our own presence. And of course, this is a difficult argument to make back to Europe. It's, 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 it's far away. It's names that people haven't heard about. And, and, and in the end, I had to, to, to explain it this way. Look, when you go to the city and there is a, you know, a huge IKEA store and there is one or maybe two Ferrari dealerships, then when we are coming in, we're, we're, not, we're not ahead of the curve. We're behind the curve. And it's time for us to go and, and open up. And, uh, and of course, in the end, that's what we've done. And, and this is where we see a lot of growth. And this is where a lot of other pe people also see a lot of growth. And it's also a question about getting out of the comfort zone. Uh, you know, the, 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 the first tier cities offers fantastic, uh, you know, uh, hotels and, and everything is nice and easy to understand. Once you move yourselves outwards towards second tier cities, uh, third tier cities, then, then you're coming a little bit to a new frontier. Things are done a little bit diff differently and, and you might be fighting uh, other, other uh, obstacles. Uh, however, that's something which, which, which in my mind, uh, you know, executives based in Shanghai or, or, or coming in from Europe uh, has to put in place and also has to demand out of their, their, their Chinese team is that, hey, we have to get out of our comfort zone. We have to really push down into where, where things are not as comfortable uh, and, and, and not as straightforward. And we have to deal with those things because that's where the money is. Uh, and, and, uh, China, you know, if you look upon uh, anybody who's involved with any sort of infrastructure, then the, the government-run investments are, you know, to a large degree outside of, 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 of the major coastal areas and, and, and the major, the major first-tier cities.